Simon Says, Dave Can't Catch a Smallmouth. This week, Dave plays a game of Simon Says while fishing with Lake Erie superstar, Simon the Iceman Frost. I forget what a hit feels like. It's been a while. All those fish you've caught, though, still not able to get one bigger than me. So shocking. I'm working on it. Plus, I don't want you to feel bad. Go. Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Abu Garcia for life. Yamaha, conquer water. Live target, lifelike lures. Action car and truck accessories, the right customer experience. Berkeley. Catch more fish. And Phoenix Bass Boats. Experience the Phoenix difference. Simon says, put your hand on your nose. Simon says, put your hand on your ears. Simon says, let's go to Lake Erie. And I always say yes. That's exactly what we're doing again this week. For the second week in a row, we will be on Lake Erie doing exactly what Simon says. Okay, Simon. You gotta own this, man. This is all you. I know you're looking at it, just munch it. I have not had a hit in a long time. As Simon gets one and I watch it with my eyes. <laughs> Feels not bad. Really dogging like it. The head shakes are monstrous. That's not a bad fish. Oh, I had her first grab, but now I'm second grab. So what we're doing is we're fishing really, really subtle edges. This spot here is, a, is some uh, gravel sand. It's probably only about 20, 30 feet wide. And we're just staying up right in the middle of it and casting out to the edges. The fish are sitting on the edge and there's a drone above my head. It makes a lot of noise. So these fish, they're sitting on really, really subtle edges like this one here. What we're doing is we're casting out. We're using the side imaging and the down imaging to mark it out. We know exactly where the edges are. We're throwing out to them. There's a very fine gravel and uh, mud edge, and the fish are sitting right on the edge of them. If you could target that, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. Good one. This segment is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. Mm. 
one. We have one. It's a lot bigger when he jumped. Yeah, don't step on my pizza. Like Yuri Chunker. All about keying in on those little, little tiny breaks. I mean, these fish, when they get loaded up here, they'll be all over these. But this time of year, you gotta key in on that immediate break. There's times when they get jammed up on there and you can kind of fish the whole point. But right now, as you've seen today, if you're not right on that edge, you might as well be 10 miles away. You just missed a fish. Little one. How do you know? Pulled it away from him. Yeah, I would have too. I sure. could feel from the sensitivity of the water movement. He wasn't a big one. Yeah, don't waste the baits on the little guy. No, that's your job. No, you have that record. I don't and know. And don't throw out, oh, well, I have the big fish too, because that doesn't count after you catch the smallest fish. Those oh, it's your last rules. fish? Oh! Pollock. And where is this? Huh? I'm just gonna watch your line. It's out there. It was right out. I was okay. dragging it back to the boat, dude. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pull it took Dave my bait. And yeah, throw he right did. over. Try and catch that fish. That'd be fine. It's teamwork. Yep, team. T W -E M. See, Simon, the difference is I'm happy when you catch a big one. I'm happy when I catch a big one, too. I'm happy when you catch big fish too, Dave. Just not quite as happy. No, so probably equally saying. as happy. I love watching people catch big fish. To a point. Like if they keep doing it, it gets old. Then we have issues. You got them? Yes, you do. One thing I've learned about these fish, you don't talk smack till he's in the net or in the boat. When did you learn that? <laughs> like a minute and a half ago? Oh my goodness. This is the fish Dave left for me. I told you it was little, did I not? I felt the vibrations. Yeah, no, come back. Oh. <sighs> you get him? Yep. She came back. I actually thought it was going to jump, but it's just not jumping right now. It looks like a good one, dude. It's big. That's a decent one. Oh, he's got a bulldog nose. Fish. Oh, Dave's got a one. Double. Feels yep. like a good one, dude. Okay. Come right here if you need me. All right, getting smaller. Ah. Oh, you're getting heavier now. I think I was just whining about not catching fish. I gotta do that once in a while. He's fighting good. He's strong when you go to pull him up, but then he feels, his head shakes feel small. Well, he looks pretty big. Here he comes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, man, catching small jaw like that, it never, ever gets old. And that fish was just hooked at the edge of his mouth. Look at that dude right there. Oh. Mm, so. There you go. Think you found the edge. There we go. Bulldogging, but I don't think he's a real big fish. He comes in real easy, and then it just stops. They just a little dude. When they decide to stop, you can't move them. Just a little tiny peanut. Definitely need to find mama. And he really messed up my bait, too. I 
I see what you're doing. What am I doing? Catching another one. Oh. This feels bitter, a little bigger than those little peanuts I've been catching. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Piggy. Oh. Piggly Wiggly. She's a chubby. It's a nice fish. A lot bigger than I thought. Where did he come from, left side? Right over there, yes. The rods in today's episode were threaded using the RTD rod threading device. I give up. That was really small. That was six inches, maybe. Oh, I just missed one. Okay. But it was like very close to the boat, though, too. Bobby's. Junior. Little dude. I'm gonna re rig again. Oh, jeepers. A little. Sure feels like it. Kind of looks like it too. How come little ones sometimes feel big, but it's not very often that little ones actually are big. Like little ones, big ones never feel little. No. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Because even if they don't tug like crazy, best release of the day, man. You see that line? That's exactly what you're looking for on the graph. You see the difference here? What you've got is a, basically a mud bottom into a sand bottom. And you see those ridges? That's exactly what that is, just like sand on a beach. And it's that edge that's exactly where all these fish are sitting. When they get grouped up, you can get them deeper into the edge and that sort of thing. But right now, every single fish we caught today is right on that edge. There's one. Got one. Oh, she's gonna jump. Eh. Not a giant. Good fish. It's another eerie little chunk. Come on, fish. There's one. Oh. You drop them? Yeah, I suck. I suck two times. Two times? Two times suck. Don't make it thrice. You keep moving us or you got um, hit, so. I got a couple bumps there. They're fairly close to the boat. They weren't far out. 
Dave. Thrice. Thrice? Thrice. Thrice. American goal. Four times the charm. He's a little baby. He thought he was a little surfer dude. Just a little peanut that I give Dave a run for his money. Smallest fish. Oh. That was uh, the football release. A little bit of a spiral on that fish. There's one. Well, if that was yours, this fish, it changed his biting tactics from thumping to nothing. Oh, he sped the boat, did he? Ran right at me. Oh, no! Didn't break off, just let go. I put a lot of effort into that fish, man. It's a much smarter fish. He dogged me, then immediately turned and ran straight at me. That's a really crazy to get him. Fish just tried to kill Dave. He hit the gunnel right by you. I'm not scared of him. See, he did that little net flop. So I'll just break that weight off and then pull it out. One or no? No, he's okay. Really feisty one though. A lot of the other ones wouldn't stay down. I mean, would just dogged into water, and this one wouldn't stay in the water. Get whacked? No, he just picked it up and I dropped him. See the water? Look, see that's the edge right there, dude. See yep. how it turns? Yep. So let's. Your spot lock here is good. See, I find right now these small fingers are more productive than the big flats. Because just because they're not grouped up? Yeah. So they'll hold. I mean, they're probably scattered all over these small, like on, along the transitions. Mm -hmm. But when you're fishing a big flat, it's a lot more water to cover. These small little fingers, much easier to target because they'll group up on that little finger. Yeah, concentration point, basically. Yep. I forget what a hit feels like. It's been a while. All those fish you've caught, though, still not able to get one bigger than me. So shocking. I'm working on it, plus I don't want you to feel bad. Oh, okay. I'm a nice guy that way. You are a nice guy. Fine line between nice guy and idiot. <laughs> Sometimes I cross that line a lot. On the cast. You know, these fish are my favorite. I don't care how big he is. Because you don't got to work for them at all. You cast it out, they grab it, that works. Oh, he's not happy.
a little chubby. One day he may be a giant. Dave and Simon fished for nine hours, made 303 casts, and caught 19 fish. That's it for the score. Now time for the facts. Dave used a Berkeley Powerbait Maxent flatworm rigged on a Trocar TK150 drop shot hook with a Wu Tungsten half ounce drop shot weight. Fished on an Abu Garcia Veracity spinning rod paired with an MG Extreme spinning reel. Spooled up with 15 pound test Berkeley X9 braided line with a fluorocarbon leader. And that's the facts.